I have a mystery in Becky's Homestead Kitchen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Stay tuned and I'll share with you guys a recipe I have and also explaining that mystery. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, that's right, I have a mystery here on the homestead. Some months ago, my waffle iron disappeared. I like waffles once in a while for breakfast. And uh, I looked high and low, every nook and cranny, especially the crannies, and my waffle iron cannot be found anywhere. I have no clue why. So I was whining to the family, where is my waffle iron? I don't know where it went. Uh, so I had to live with uh, pancakes once in a while, and I only do that maybe twice a month. But boy, when I want waffles, I want waffles. So, this Christmas, the family gifted me with a brand new waffle iron. It's a cuisine art. So, I get to make some waffles, and better yet, I get to use some homemade blackberry pancake syrup on my waffles. My waffle recipe is fairly simple. I use some essential everyday complete buttermilk pancake and waffle mix. I also use some cinnamon from my spice rack and also a little bit of vanilla extract in the mix and that gives it that extra little flavor in conjunction with the blackberry pancake syrup. Here is how I made the homemade blackberry waffle syrup. I want to thank you guys for coming to my kitchen today. We are canning blackberry pancake syrup. Really easy to make. We're going to render the blackberries. And right now we're just going to take all the seed out of the blackberries. And this is how I do it. I put the blackberries in the blender after I've rinsed them in the sink. I blend them up really good and then I pour them in through a sieve into a pot. And the sieve will separate the seeds from all the other juices and pulp. And I just work it with a spoon or spatula, whatever I'm using. I remove the seeds, toss the seeds away, and then I have the blackberry pulp. I've got in this pan four cups of blackberry pulp, so or blackberry juice. We're going to add to that. Uh, four cups of sugar and then we're going to turn the heat on I'm going to stir it in and to this we're going to add about one tablespoon of lemon juice and then one and one quarter cup of water Now we're going to bring it to a boil slowly. For the syrup mixture, we're going to boil it to boil some of the liquid off of it. And as it boils, it'll thicken to that syrupy consistency. I boiled the syrup down to where it's a nice syrupy consistency. Now I'm just going to wait for it to cool and then I'll be putting it into bottles and sealing them and trying to water bath those bottles so I can store them in the cupboards. Otherwise I'll just store them in the refrigerator because blackberry pancake syrup I doubt it will last very long around here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Okay, the pancake syrup is finished. We put it in these bottles. I uh, washed these bottles out really good. Then we heated it up really good and tried to kill off all the bacteria on here. And now uh, we put a, a seal on there and then we'll, we will refrigerate these. So this is uh, eight cups each bottle. Okay, two, four, no, four cups each bottle. So I got two bottles and we have eight cups of uh, blackberry pancake syrup.
It's breakfast time. Mm. Homemade. Mm. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining me for breakfast. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. You can follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, Google Plus, and Blogger. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and sharing the videos helps our channel out greatly. We'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.